peace be upon you. Welcome back to Wealth and Wisdom. Is Bitcoin too expensive? Are you too late to Bitcoin? These are the questions we answer in today's video. To answer these questions, we must first understand what is Bitcoin. When you go down that path, you end up in a rabbit hole and start finding out what exactly is money. Check out our other videos where we've answered this very question. I will not bore you with all that. Understand this much that all forms of money converge towards one form of money. The hardest form of money wins out in the end. Historically this has been gold. But gold also has its own flaws. And those flaws were and still are being exploited by human beings. Its flaws are that it can be confiscated. And it cannot be exchanged over communication channels without a trusted third party. The flaw of gold has been solved with the invention of Bitcoin. Bitcoin can be irrevocably transferred over a communication channel without the need for any trusted third party as an intermediary. This is fundamentally different than digital payments in fiat systems, which are dependent on trusted intermediaries. Bitcoin is a greater constant than any other form of money and is highly divisible and measurable, while also capable of being transferred over the internet. Try to identify a single other good that could possibly share these properties. Finite scarcity, divisibility and fungibility and can be sent over a communication channel. This is what every other monetary good is up against as it competes for the convergent role of money. Practically, the only way to really appreciate the power of such a rare dynamic through experiencing it. First hand, any individual can access the network on a permissionless basis by running a Bitcoin node on a home, computer. The ability to power up a computer anywhere in the world and transfer a finitely scarce resource to any other individual without permission or reliance on a trusted third party is empowering. Bitcoin is global and it is accessible by anyone on the planet because Bitcoin becomes the common language of value for all participants. Anyone that is a part of the network will be able to communicate and ultimately trade with other network participants. While there will likely always be jurisdictional friction that impedes trade, access to the same common currency removes the root source of friction in the communication of value, and Bitcoin's fixed supply will allow its pricing mechanism to accumulate and communicate more perfect information with the least amount of distortion relative to any other form of money. And as more individuals choose to store value in Bitcoin, its fixed supply becomes more credible and its pricing mechanism more reliable and relevant. New adopters of a monetary network both contribute value and realize value as a function of adoption, which is why it is not possible to be late to Bitcoin, nor will Bitcoin ever be too expensive. Like and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum.